So I am inside the bank account project and here we have the text boxes that we keyed in as numeric only. When I go to my calculate, you can see we have our key press events over here that handle the keystrokes for each of those text boxes. But now we can replace these with the custom text box we just created and eliminate these key press events. So let's bring in the DLL into the project. Let's go to Tools, choose Toolbox Items, and Browse, and let's bring in the numeric text box DLL. Click OK. Now let's go to Form Design, open the toolbox, and I'm going to delete these three text boxes. I can leave the final balance because that one only displays the result of the calculation. So I'll delete the deposit, interest and months and I'm going to place our new numeric text box there. So this one's gonna be for the deposit, this one's gonna be for the interest and one more for the number of months. Now I have to name them, so I'll select one and go to properties and I'm going to name it. Currently it says numeric text box one, but I'll name it the same as it was before, so txt deposit. So that way we don't have to change anything in the code when I name it the same. So the next one is going to be txt interest. And the third one is going to be number of month. So this one was txt num month. Now let's go back to our code. We don't have any errors. That means we named the text boxes correctly. Everything is referring to the same text boxes as before. But now I can delete all these key press events. So we have three of them and I'm going to delete them. So that reduces the code significantly. Now remember, our text boxes has those two properties for has decimal and allowing for the negative numbers as well. So in our case, we may choose not to allow negative numbers. We don't want negative deposits or negative interest or negative number of months. So I'm going to leave that property as false, which is by default, has negative is false by default. And we want to allow decimal numbers on the deposit as well as the interest, but not for the number of months. We only want the integer there. So monthly deposit stays the same, as decimal is true, so does the interest. But for the number of months, I'm going to set it to false. And that's all the changes we need to do here. So let's run this. And I'm going to deposit, let's say, $100.50. And you can see it allowed me to enter the decimal point, but not another decimal point. Let's say 2.5 will be the interest and I'm trying to enter another decimal or negative, but it's not allowing me correctly as be because that's how we have it set. A number of months, it doesn't allow negative and I'm trying to enter decimal point, but it's not allowing it either. So our text boxes are working correctly. Let's click calculate and here is our final balance. So we upgraded the bank account application by using custom text boxes and it reduced the code significantly. Instead of using a key press event for each of those text boxes, we now simply set the properties in our properties windows. So as you can see, having your own custom controls has its advantages and it's not that hard to make. We simply inherit all the properties and uh, functionality from already existing controls and we add to them as we need or override what we need to override. So I hope this was interesting exercise for you that you learned something new and I will see you in the next video.